Hi, and welcome to Canyon PD's Tip of the Day, where teachers get tips, tricks, and ideas that serve, support, and inspire their students. Today, we are looking at a website called rewordify.com. It is a great site for your struggling readers. This site is absolutely free, and I'm going to show you how it works by using another site we've talked about on our tips. What it's called um, ReadWorks, which is also a great reading site that allows students to find some great content as they read every day. In our remote learning situations, it's great that they have something that's new and fresh. So I'm looking at an article called Inside and Outside Carlsbad Caverns, and I've chosen a piece of text that I find is somewhat challenging for struggling readers. I'm going to co uh, copy that text, and I'm going to click back over to my rewordify.com. I'm going to paste the text and click the button that says rewordify this. It just takes a second and it shows me all of the different highlighted words that are challenging in this particular passage. It tells me also how long I've been reading the passage. It tells me there are nine hard words. You wanna learn five of them or all of them. And if I click on this five, for example, it will take me to another page that allows me to type the word, listen to the word, see the word in context, and really focus in on that word. It even gives you a warning, or the student a warning, if they're going too fast. So I really love this site. There's uh, stats that you can download if you log in, you can share progress, you can print learning activities, and really work on parts of speech. This site is fabulous for your ELL, or English as a Second Language learners. It's great for your struggling readers and super great for your special education students that do have some struggles with reading. If I scroll down a little bit more, you can see more of the features that they have with this site that is absolutely free. So they can highlight more or less, they can certainly um, come up with different word banks. Uh, they've got quizzes and they've got many types of, of charts and graphs that allow you to see progress, but not just you, to share that progress with your students and their parents. So I empower you as a teacher to continue to empower your students and consider equity as you teach every day. And as always, this has been your tip of the day with Canyon Professional Development. We hope to see you back again soon.